Yo, it's hot, guys. A prime location for Cape Town's history, the Grand Parade is where the Dutch built their first fort in 1652, where slaves were sold and punished, and where crowds gathered to watch Nelson Mandela's first address to the nation as a free man after 27 years in jail, made from the balcony of the Old Town Hall. The Cape Town Minstrel Carnival is a historic cultural celebration that includes a vibrant annual street parade. This parade is a cultural tradition that dates back to the early years of colonization and slavery in the Cape. Slaves were brought to Cape Town from all over. Slaves were brought from across Africa, India, Indonesia, and the Middle East. Many of these slaves could not speak the same language and had little in common besides for their own slavery. Despite their slavery, New Year's was a time of the year where slaves were allowed the freedom to celebrate amongst the colonists. It was a time for much festivities and happiness and by mingling with the colonists and foreign traders from around the world, slaves could create their own dances, songs, music, and even languages. Well, thank you so much for giving me the history on, you know, the history. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, this go up here, this kind of Hey guys, I'm up here chilling on the rooftop until the um, actual parade starts, and I was going to go down. But listen, it is almost half past one <laughs> and the parade hasn't started yet it hasn't come down so i'm just waiting i'm just waiting on the festivities to begin but yes listen it is hot i got my fan <laughs> and i am ready ready for the festivities the people of cape town have been 
waiting on this celebration. They camped out all night on the street. The day before, slept on the street just to secure a good position, a good spot um, to see the parade. Yo, it's hot guys. I cannot wait for the actual parade to start. It's supposed to start at one, at, well it was supposed to start at one o'clock. It's half past one, <sighs> still waiting. <laughs> but hopefully the things will kick off soon because this heat, I'm not, I'm not playing with it today. I'm not playing with it. <laughs> Guys, it's three o'clock and they just started. The parade just started. So I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as I can. From up here, I went downstairs. It's so packed and people actually slept on the street to get good footage or, I mean, to get a good um, uh, visual of the parade. So. They got it on lock. They got their tents, their sleeping bags. So it's hard to, you know, break those barriers. So I came back up here on the rooftop and to get some footage for you guys. Let's see. This particular troupe reminded me so much of Mardi Gras in New Orleans. They, I don't know whether it's the colors of what, but it really, really reminded me of New Orleans. Okay, so I was really, really excited about this particular troupe because they were getting it. They were so in sync. They had great routines throughout the parade. And I was just waiting on the Juvie Boys because they are were celebrating their 10 year anniversary. But in the meantime, I enjoyed this troupe immensely. They were getting it, okay? Known as Tweedy Nivaya, a second New Year has gathered tens of thousands of people on Monday. They flocked to participate in the open-air party that returned after a two-year COVID-induced break. The city's deputy mayor was thrilled to experience the return of the festivity.
There was something missing. I think if you understand the significant cultural aspect of it and the importance why we need to have this event to celebrate what has happened in the past and own our future, I think that is why this event is so important. People camp out days in advance to have front row seats to tweet a new VR, just you know, highlighting the fact how excited everyone is that it's back now. About 20,000 performers divided into 27 troops paraded in impoverished, crime-ridden communities with high unemployment rates, joining a band offers some a way out. Music is what kept Siraj Allen from taking a more dangerous path. Join the clubs and then I saw the trumpet, then I got interested in playing the trumpet and then afterwards my mother bought me a trumpet and then I started to play in the clubs and then after six years I started to study music and that is where it all happened. The 30-year-old is now a professional musician he coaches the player's INC Bounce, which is made up of 150 instrumentalists. The co-director of the player's INC ministerial group firmly believes the bands have a social role to play in these communities as they serve the youth. Most of the clubs are registered as MPOs and NGOs and the amount of giving back that we do uh, for having a club, so it's, it's, it's quite substantial because um, <coughs> For many of our kids that are part of our clubs, some of them won't have any food at home and all of that stuff. So they would come to the clubs because we offer a whole meal for them, um, we offer them drinks, we take them to different areas that they can experience how other people stay in other areas as well. The Cape Town Parade has its roots in colonial times when slaves were allowed to relax on the day after New Year's Day. It now celebrates the city's rich culture and marks the start of a weeks-long competition where ministrels face each other for the best troop. Wow, guys, all I can say is that South Africans really know how to celebrate. The festivities lasted well into the night, ending around 10.30 p.m. I am so honored to be able to take part in such a beautiful celebration, reminiscing on the history and forging ahead to the future. Today wasn't just another day off work. It was a day with a deeper meaning and historical value. I am thrilled to take part in it. With each passing year, I am learning more about this great country and their traditions. It continues to enrich my life. As I mentioned earlier, the Juby Boys were celebrating 10 years, so I was looking forward to seeing their troops' performance. If you attended the Grand Parade, tell me what is your favorite troop. Share in the comments. If you enjoy this content, feel free to share it with a friend. 
don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Miracles and blessings. Until next time.